come from the Office of Youth Advocacy at the San Diego Unified School District. I'm honored to be here today representing our school district. On behalf of Superintendent Cindy Martin in the San Diego Unified School District, I thank you. Morris High School, Knox Middle School, and Porter Elementary School, all of the principals, all the students, invited guests and community members for making this event possible. Our district is committed to being a more peaceful and restorative district, to working together to ensure that all children have the opportunity to grow and thrive in safe and nurturing environments. In the Office of Youth Advocacy, we are charged with helping ensure that all students are cared for, respected, supported, and heard. Your voices matter. Your stories are important. Taking this step as a peace builder is your public commitment to this process, to creating a school, a school district, a community, a city, a state, a country, and a world in which we are all joined together in our common goal, creating a peaceful, kind, and just world. This event Okay, I'm losing my paper too, so hang on. This event marking a commitment to peace in this community is a shining example of the kindness and compassion of our young people. Making a commitment to be a peace builder is right on. I know that it is challenging sometimes to stand up for what you believe in. Sometimes it feels easier to ignore and look away from injustice or unkindness. Sometimes it's easier to pretend that nothing is happening and just go on with your own business, thinking that it doesn't concern you. But when we notice injustice and we notice unkindness and hurtful behavior, when we see it and we turn away, remember, it cannot be unseen. We have all looked away and when we do, it is something that becomes a part of who we are. Also, we have all at some time or another used unkind words, violence, or even were just plain mean to someone. I want to tell you a story about a time that I was mean. I was in high school and there was a girl named Jenny. She was overweight and she was teased often. People called her names and made animal sounds when she walked down the hall. One day I was behind Jenny and she had spitballs in her hair. I was walking with some friends and we were laughing and we were talking about how gross her hair was and if she could do something about it. Later that day, I saw Jenny sitting outside waiting for a ride home and she was crying. I knew in my heart that she was hurting and that I played a part in it. However, I walked away. I didn't speak to her and I didn't apologize. I walked away. I realized that I had contributed to her sadness and I had hurt her. That saying about sticks and stones and words never hurting you is just plain wrong. I had watched others hurt her. I did not have the courage to stop the injustice, to not participate. I was a bystander when what I needed to be was an upstander. I needed to stand up for Jenny. I needed to let other know, others know that their words and my words hurt and that it, was, that it was cruel. I still think about that incident 35 years later, that missed opportunity to do the right thing. I didn't have anyone to help me understand how my words and actions, as well as my inactions, really affected Jenny. In hindsight, what I should have said, should have done in that moment, is walk over to Jenny and tell her that no matter what, she matters. She is important and special in this world and apologize for the role that I played in her sadness. Back then, I didn't know how to do that. As a result, as an adult, I'm committed to a life of being kind and using kind words and to not turning away. Sometimes all it takes is a kind word or a smile to make someone's day. Isn't that worth it? Be that person. Brene Brown, who's an expert in vulnerability and compassion, put it into perspective for me when she said, if you want to make a difference next time you see someone being cruel to another human being, take it personally. Take it personally because it is personal. We are all in this together. 
When you sign your peace pledge today, remember, you are embarking on a journey that will lead you to a kinder, more compassionate world. The work you do here, the steps you take toward making a more peaceful community, will transform not only your community, but you will be transformed as well. The words you choose matter. Choose kind ones. The things we turn away from matter. Lean in and see. Our actions count. Make them positive for the good of all. Together we can make this world a kinder, more just world, a place full of hope. Your commitment as the young people of this community will make that difference. You are truly the peace builders of the future. You're helping to build a world that I want to live in. A place where everyone is welcome, respected, loved, and cared for. Now, now I will end with one of my favorite quotes from Christopher Robin, who is Winnie the Pooh's best friend. You are braver than you believe, and stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Now, this is your heart, and know it. Go out and change the world. Thank you.